Hi, this is going to be a video on uh, how I'm setting up my my crossbow this year for deer hunting and trying to self film. Um, I have I self filmed turkey season this past year and uh, it was okay. I, I did all right. I had a little Sony handy cam and uh, it worked okay. But I found out that well, through trial and error you learn. But I found out that things would get out of focus if a twig would get in the way and stuff like that. It, it didn't have a manual focus on it. Still okay, it works all right, but I just wanted to do a little bit better. So anyway, I went and bought this uh, this Canon. It's a Canon uh, HF G20. Uh, it's an older model, but it's brand new. But I got a heck of a deal on it, and because uh, they came out with now the G, the, well, they came out with a G30 and a G40. Who knows? They might even have the G50 out. I don't know. But anyway, this is a very good camera. I like it. Um, the problem I had with upgrading to a larger camera, a better camera, was I didn't want to mount it on my crossbow. So I uh, I ordered a Caldwell. It's an optic uh, adapter, and it's made to go on your your Caldwell. Uh, field pod or chair pod or whatever, you unscrew this thing here and it, and it fastens on there. However, that wasn't going to work for me, so I just, uh, I went and got a bolt and a metal bracket and uh, so I could set this back, set it back far enough because you got to set it back, you got to set your camera back far enough that it's out of the way of your, your, your string and your uh, trigger. So, anyway. This is how I did it. Let me turn this around a little bit. Maybe you can see this better this way. Sorry about my voice. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> um, anyway, I had to do a little bit of uh, tweaking to it. So what I did was I went and bought a 3.8, 16 thread, 12 inches long. It's a threaded rod. And I installed a nut, washers, nut and washer and this Colville uh, optics adapter comes with this head and the 3 8 rod fits in it perfect that's why you have to have a 3 8 16 thread so I screwed that on there and put that on and it really really works good now if I want to take my crossbow off I just comes right off no problem. I can still Loosen this up and pan with it if I wanted to pan back towards me or whatever. But anyway, this is what I'm going to try this year. And I've got a uh, tree pod set up in my tree stand that this will work. I, all I got to do is take this off and hook it right to my tree pod. But I'm, I'm going to try to hunt out of a blind also this year. So this is going to work pretty good. So anyway, I just wanted to give you an idea of what's going on, uh, or what I did, and uh, if you want to try something like this, it really works, guys. I've tried it out, it works great. The only problem I found with my tree pod is when I uh, did a trial test, I got up in the tree pod and my shooting rail is a little high, so I can't pan down very far, I have to stand up to uh, pan and shoot. so That's something I'm going to have to tweak next year, do something different with that. But that's not a big deal. I stood up and shot my vertical bows all my life. So, But anyway, it'll still sit in the, the tree pod fine. You just have to stand up to get it shouldered. So if you guys or gals wanting to uh, sit in your blind or something and, uh, and do some uh, self-filming this might be something for you you might want to try it so anyway there she is <laughs> we'll see thanks for watching bye, -bye.